right here say this is gonna cover that angle. You're gonna have to go through this area right here. He's gonna cover that angle. Don't go after him. Let me go. Okay, currently the uh, Thai police instructors for EOD are establishing various different booby traps in this type of urban training environment. And uh, there's five objectives uh, for today's mission. This is one of the culminating events for Ramish Challenge where EOD and SWAT work together in order to be able to resolve an issue and achieve an objective. Lieutenant Colonel Sangari had six years of continuous combat deployment, 144 patrols, 22 special forces missions, and two key direct action operations. He survived seven improvised explosive attacks in one enemy checkpoint engagement with no loss of life and was awarded the combat action badge for the operations. He conducted 670 key leader and tribal leader engagements in support of multiple counterinsurgency operations to counter enemy influence and terrorist activities in the region. Three major policy papers for the Special Operations Forces and the Marines on Federalism and Governance, and he wrote an executive summary on civil military operations. These documents were used as a guideline for conducting civil engagements in Iraq. The policies legitimized three newly elected city councils and two mayors in al province to counter enemy influence which directly allowed a new approach in support of the Sons of Iraq efforts in Iraq. Lieutenant Colonel Sangari has also conducted over 17,000 civil military operations, foreign internal defense support operations, non-combat evacuations and disaster relief and emergency management missions. He conducted over 7,000 humanitarian missions to mitigate citywide emergencies covering provincial and regional shortfalls throughout the Middle East in support of unconventional warfare, the regular warfare, direct action, and contingency operations. Lieutenant Colonel Sungari planned, resourced, and executed the reception and integration of military personnel from the U.S. Army, North Atlantic Treaty Organization Executive Offices, and well-known civilian interagency personnel from six different U.S. civilian agencies, thus laying the groundwork for coordinating reconstruction and development activities cells for operations in Afghanistan. His specialty skills initiative became a pilot and a case study for how the Army recruits, trains, and conducts future civil military operations in both accessible and remote areas of the world.
last two major projects which Lieutenant Colonel Sangari took on were the analysis, designs, and developments of metrics and standards used to accredit the United States Special Warfare Center and school in both training and education to include assessments and accreditation of the training which affected all civil affairs, special forces, psychological operations, and other special units personnel totaling between 15 to 20,000. When I was young, I wondered, as a child wonders, what should I do when I grow up? My parents raised me with the love of my nation and my heart. There's a voice in some people's lives which calls out, be a soldier. It is that time when a man or a woman sees a need to stand taller. Remember the system mistakes. Debate the issue. Challenge my proposals and any proposals I put on the table. Hold your leadership accountable. Don't just believe what they say, verify and validate what they say. It's the onus is on you. You want me to be a better leader? You better put the scope in my chest and you better be asking the tough questions. Americans have always been ready because we always respond. We do not shrink away from fear, but we walk towards our adversaries.